I'm Dr. Franklin Tesler from the University of Alabama at Birmingham. I'm going to be speaking about parathyroid ultrasound. I have no relevant financial disclosures, but I will say that I once binge-watched Breaking Bad for an entire weekend. Here are my goals and objectives for this presentation. Starting off, why do parathyroid ultrasound? What's the proper technique? Do we see normal parathyroids on ultrasound? What do abnormal parathyroids look like? What else can cause parathyroid enlargement? And do parathyroid adenomas ever arise in the thyroid gland? Why do parathyroid ultrasound? To understand the parathyroid story, you have to go back to this fellow, Ivar Sandstrom, who was credited with the first description of the parathyroid glands in mammals. He did this while he was a medical student in Uppsala, Sweden, which is quite remarkable. He noticed one day some small structures next to the thyroid gland in dogs, and being an acquisitive fellow, looked at other animals and humans and eventually described the parathyroid glands in detail. Of course, he was interested in an academic career, so he submitted his description to a German journal which rejected his submission and said it was too long. Well, he wasn't going to stand for that, so he sent the full submission to a journal in uh, Sweden where it was published. 